There's always a group of people who are very, very good at telling you the challenges. But then there's always another group of people. No matter what the circumstances are, they can always see potential. I think we have to understand that we'll always be more connected through our vulnerabilities than we ever will be through our personal strengths. And here today, we want to support the most vulnerable families. When we can get together like this and share with one another, that's when the services and resources are going to work best. What we have to make sure is all of those services are getting to the people who need them the most. When we make investments to young people, it actually works. The science, the research, the evaluation is unprecedented. The economic impacts are absolutely incredible. I've always said that it's irresponsible of us to ask people to overcome hardship and challenge unless we can show them others who have done it. Stories of hardship are always easier to tell. But for every story that you see and read, always remember there's literally hundreds and hundreds of stories of success. Hundreds of stories of achievement of people being able to overcome it. It's the story and the things that we're talking about doesn't just touch young children, it touches their families. It touches their grandparents. It touches their older brothers and sisters. We have to give lots of people choice. We have to engage them. The most important thing is to get the people who believe in the potential of our community all together. That's where we're going to learn the most. Why can't we make that possible?